Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a login screen UI design in MIT App Inventor. So we are going to create a modern looking UI design of a login screen using MIT App Inventor in this video. So these are the things which you are going to learn in this video. How to create, how to use custom font in MIT App Inventor. So for this, we are going to use an extension and then how to create fantastic icons in MIT App Inventor. And then you will learn how to use the different layouts in MIT App Inventor. And you will also learn how to customize the button design in MIT App Inventor. So I have already made a detailed video about layouts. So you can check that out. The link is in the description below. Now, if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. Download all the media files which we are going to use in this video. So for that, you need to go to this link. So this link is in the description below and then it will rewrite redirect to Google Drive where you can download all the assets so you just click on this download button so after you download the zip file and extract the zip file you'll be able to see some images along with fonts and then there is also an AIA file so I'll explain you how what to do with this AIA file and the font file later but we are going to use this, these images and icons in our app to create a good looking UI design. So I, I created these images and icons using a free software called Canva. So you just need to go to canva.com. If you want, you instead of using the icons which I have gave you in the Google Drive, you can also create your own icons using Canva. So Canva is free and there's also a pro version if you want to use many other features. So it's self-explanatory. You just go to, there are many shapes and icons here. You can also upload your own images and shapes and you can put text and do whatever you want in Canva. Now, if you don't want to create your own icons or use the icons which I have given, you can search for many icons in flaticon.com, flaticon.com. So I have given the link for this also in the description below. And here there are uh, 4.7 million ve vector icons and stickers, so which you can use to create your apps. There are different icons which you can use. Start creating the app. So here you can see login screen I have created a new project in MIT App Inventor. So if you are also not going to create login screen and you are creating some other app, this video will be useful for you because I am going to tell you all the best practices to make good UI design for the mobile app. So first you need to go to scroll down and here you can see theme. You need to change this to be device default. Next here you can see we are going to hide this title bar where it shows screen one so here you can see title visible let's uncheck this box so first we are going to put a close button at the corner of this login screen so let's go to layout and here we are going to bring in horizontal arrangement next let's put the width of this to be fill parent so that it occupies the full width of the screen next we are going to bring in a button so this is going to be the close button so instead of putting the text to be close, we are going to put an icon of close button. So let's erase all the text and here I am going to upload the icon. So I have given the icons and all other things in this login screen UI. You can download this from the link in the description. So here you can see the close icon and let me upload it. Now you can see that the close icon is uploaded and here let's click on button 1. And then the image is going to be close icon.png. Now you can see that it is too big. So let's adjust the height and width of this. So the height is going to be 4%. And then let's put the width of this to be 7%. Now let's increase the size of this horizontal arrangement. So the height is going to be 4%. Similar to the button. Click on OK. Now you can see that the height is increased and you can also see the close button is visible. But you can see that it is at the corner of the screen and there is no space. So we are going to put a label to be 
as a spacing for it. So let's erase all the text and the height is going to be 1% because it's just a spacing. So let's click on OK. Now we are going to make the align horizontal of screen 1 to be center. Now this is label 1 and now you can see that the close button is a bit down here. So next we are going to duplicate this label 1 which is acting as a spa spacing and we are going to put it to be here. Now you can see that there is space, more space and let, now let's change the align horizontal and align, let's change the align vertical of horizontal arrangement 1 to be center. Now you can see that this the button 1 is at the center of the horizontal arrangement. Now we have finished creating the close button. Next we are going to put some text at the middle of this horizontal arrangement. So we are going to bring in another horizontal arrangement from the layouts. In, we are going to put this horizontal arrangement inside horizontal arrangement 1. Now let's in, we are going to put the width of this to be fill parent and let's put the align horizontal of this horizontal arrangement 2 to be center. Here we are going to bring in the label and then the text is going to be sign in to log in to your account or sign in whatever you want. So let me put the text. Now you can see that the text is visible but I think the font doesn't look nice. So if you want you can change the font. So for to change the font we are going to use an extension. But before we do that first we are going to put a background for this login screen. So a gradient background will be good for the UI. So you can there are many gradients you can search in Google and in the free stock websites. So I have given a sample gradient here in the zip file which you, which you can download from Google Drive. So here you can see background gradient. I'm going to use this gradient. Click on OK. And now it's uploading the gradient to App Inventor server. Now you can see that the background gradient is uploaded. We are going to set this to be at the, the background of screen 1. So let's click on screen 1. And in the properties section, you need to put the background image to be background gradient.png. Click on OK. Now let's now you can see that the blue background is visible. Now you can see that the this label sign in to your account is black in color so it's not visible in the mobile so we are going to change the the color of this label text color to be white so here you can see text color in the properties let's change this to be white now i told you that we are going to change the font first let's increase the font size of this and we are going to change we are going to put the font to be bold now we are going to put our own custom font style for this label which is label 3 in which we have put sign in to your account. So we are going to put our own custom font. So to do that we need an extension. So I have given the AIA file in the Google Drive zip file so you can download it from the description below. So you need to import the AIA file so you need to go to import project from my computer and you need to choose the file. Now here you can see the yourfont.ai which I have provided in the login screen zip file. Click on open and now click on ok. Now after you import the yourfont.ai file we need to get the extension file from it. So AIA file is not an extension file. So AIX file is an extension. So this is the extension. So here you can see com.appy or font.aix you need to download this to your computer this aix file so this is the extension your font.extension and this is this user has created this extension so that we can put our own custom font so now here let's go to the project now you can see the login screen project here we need to upload the aix file let's go to extension and here you can see import extension choose file and you need to upload the AIX file which we have downloaded so here you can see click on import now you can see that the your font extension file is imported now let's bring in this extension 
Now after you bring in this extension your font, you need to upload the custom font. So you can upload any font you want. You can download the fonts from a website called Google Font, link in the description below. So here you can see I have downloaded a font from the Google Fonts. So this is the Roboto Thin font which I have downloaded and I am going to use this font in the project. So let's, you need to upload this file. So this is an TTF file. So here you can see TTF file. So let's upload this to MIT App Inventor. Here you need to upload from the media. So let's choose this Roboto Thin and click on OK. Now it's uploading the font to the MIT App Inventor and now you can see that the TTF file is uploaded. Now let's go to the block section and here when screen 1 is initializing which means the app is loading we are going to change the font. So here you can see call your font 1 dot set font. So we are going to call the extension and then we are going to set a font. So here we need to set the component. So we are going to do it for this label which is label 3 we are going to change the font so here you can see label 3 you just need to bring in here and now make sure in your font you need to put the custom font which you are going to use so in my case it is roboto.thin.ttf let's choose this here now you can see that the custom font roboto thin font is applied to label 3 you can see that the style of sign in to your account label is different. Now we are going to go to the layout and here we are going to bring in vertical arrangement. Let's put the height of this to be fill parent and then the width of this vertical arrangement should be 80%. Next we are going to put the align horizontal and align vertical of this to be center. So both of these should be center and center. Next let's go to the user interface and from here we are going to bring in an image. So in this image we are going to show an user icon. So this is the user icon which we are going to show in this image which is image 1. So let me upload the picture. So again I am telling all of these are in Google Drive which you can download. Now let's go to upload file, choose file. And then here you can see the user icon. So let me upload it. Now after you upload it, you can see that the icon is very big. So let's, we are going to adjust the height and width. So I think 20% height. And let's try putting 30% width. Now let's see how it looks in the mobile. I think it looks fine. And then now let's go to the, we are going to bring in a label. So here you can see let's duplicate label 1 because again we are going to use this label for spacing. So control C and control V and this label should be here. Next we are going to bring in a text box and then and then we are going to bring in a password text box. So in this text box they will type the username and then in this text box they will type the password. So the difference between this text box and the password text box is that when they type on this text box all the letters or the numbers will be visible. If somebody types on the password text box the characters will not be visible and it will be visible like dots like you can see here. So let's change the hint of this text box to be username. And then the hint for this password text box to be password. So after we change both the hints, we are going to change the height and width of each of these. So first we are going to increase the font size of this to be 18. And now let's do the same thing for the password text box. Now let's increase the width of both of these text boxes to be 60%. So let's put the width of this text box to be 60%. And let's do the same for the password text box. The width is going to be 60%. Click on OK. And next we are going to change the font typeface of the password text box to be sans serif. This. And then after you change it, you can see that both of the text boxes look the same and you can type anything in the text box. 
the same thing is for the password so if i type something in the password text box then you can see that everything is changed to dots because we are using a password text box next we are going to bring in a button so this is the login button and here you can see that we are going to we need a spacing between the text box and then the login button so let's we are going to duplicate label 1 control c and control v and we are going to bring this label in between of the button and then the text box the password text box after you do that instead of putting the text here like login so here you can see instead of doing like this this button looks very simple and it it is very plain so instead of writing the text we are going to upload an image so this is going to be the image login button again i have given this in the google drive in the zip file so let's upload this image so here you can see upload file choose file and login button now it is uploading it and you can see that the login button is uploaded now you can also see that it is very big so let's adjust the height and width of this login button so the height should be six percent and let's change the width of this to be 75 percent now you can see that the login button looks very nice and you can also see that the text box and everything is ready now there is one last thing we need to do we are going to put a transparent background here in the vertical arrangement so the background is going to be this background i think it will not be visible because it is transparent but after we upload it here it will be visible so let's go to image in the vertical arrangement properties upload file choose file and then here you can see the rounded rectangle let's up let's upload this image now after you upload this image you can see that there's a transparent background behind this user icon you can also see it in the mobile the transparent background now here you can see the login screen and here you can see that the font is changed the close button at the corner and you can also see that there's a user icon and the transparent background behind the gradient i mean in front of the gradient and then you can also see both of the text boxes so here you can type the username what whatever you want and then here you can type the password and whenever you type a password you can see that it it is it stays for few seconds it is visible for few seconds and then you can see that it changes into dots because we are using a password text box and here you can see the modern looking login login button next do you want to create your own chat app in mit app inventor watch this video and also watch the full course of mit app inventor here